Hi, Derek here with a demo of IP address approved listing in AppSheet. This is a feature I've been asked about a few times and it is possible using domain authentication. So I have an app here and I've gone to security, domain authentication, turned it on, and I've selected one of the domain authentication sources that I have connected to my account. Uh, in this case, I'm using Okta and I'll come down and then select the group that I wanna authorize and um, the rest of this is all set up on the Okta side. Here's the Okta settings. So the domain authentication that I uh, just showed on the AppSheet side, that was created in Okta by going to applications and configuring an app. It gives you a client ID and a client secret, and that's what you use to connect Okta to your AppSheet account. So that'll allow you to manage authentication to your app using groups in Okta. Uh, but the next step we want to take is to apply IP address approve listing. So to do that, in Okta, we come down to security and we'll create a network that identifies the IP addresses that we either want to allow or disallow. In this case, I have a network that just has my home IP address on it. And then I'll come into security and go to authentication and come into sign on. And here's where I can create a rule that will either allow or disallow uh, authentication from that IP address. So when we add a rule, uh, we can give it a name and then under user's IP, uh, we can select in zone and then you can select the, uh, the IP address network that you defined in the last step uh, by the name that you gave it here. And then access is either allowed or denied and there's a few other settings that you can uh, fine tune here as well uh, so we can see that in action right now i've made two of them one is to allow requests from my home ip address and one is to block uh, so i have this one active and this one inactive uh, so we should see when i go back to my application i can get the uh, browser link and open up an incognito and visit that app. It'll prompt me to log in with that uh, Okta application that I registered. And when I click on that, it's gonna do an OAuth through Okta. So I'll give it my uh, credentials here. And Okta should grant us access into the application. Great, looks good. So now let's go back and try that the other way. So I'm going to deactivate my uh, allow setting and I'm going to activate my uh, deny setting. And we'll come back over to AppSheet, get that browser link again, open up a new incognito window and repeat. And this time I got denied. So it looks like our, our uh, network settings are working. Uh, you can also do this with Azure Active Directory. Uh, there's a conditional access policy that you can apply there. So I hope that helps uh, people set up their IP address allow listing in AppSheet using either Okta or Azure Active Directory. Thanks for watching.